All right, KW, uh, how we doing? Uh, some of you uh, may be just uh, becoming familiar with Nestio over the last day or two. Um, we uh, had Nestio release a bunch of new username and passwords for folks who didn't have access to it. So I'm just gonna go through uh, in this particular video some of the very basic search features that Nestio has. Uh, Nestio is a great search engine. Uh, it does have an RLS feed. So what I'm gonna do right now uh, is I'm just gonna go to nestio.com. You can see my username uh, and password credentials are already loaded here. So I'm just gonna log in. Uh, and oops, looks like I got myself an error message. That's embarrassing. All right, let's try again. Nestio.com. And here we go, I'm gonna log in. And uh, you can see that my credentials held from the past. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to click on buildings, uh, I'm sorry, search here. And you can see that the search interface is pretty uh, straightforward. Um, Nestio has a lot of tutorials that'll jump up at you uh, as you go through things. So I'm just going to close that down. So, so at its most fundamental, uh, basically you're going to filter searches by location. We could say Manhattan, uh, and then we can say uh, what size apartment we want. Let's just pick a one bedroom and then perhaps a one bathroom here, uh, perhaps up to $3,500. Excuse me. You can see that as I'm doing this, the count is getting lower. As I put filters in, the total count of available uh, apartments is is reducing. So it's actually sort of calculating the search as I move through, which is kind of neat. Um, you can pick uh, a company that you're interested in searching for. So I could look for related uh, rentals or Glenwood or somebody like that. Um, and then uh, whether or not the, the uh, listings will have either media uh, photos or floor plans. So you can see now I'm looking for an, uh, just basically um, one bedrooms for $3,500 in Manhattan and I've got, uh, with photos, and I've got 1,700 listings. Uh, all filters, that will allow for me to create uh, more detail in the search. I can look for either active or off-market uh, listings. I can exclude pending offers. I can look for apartments that are either available by, on, beginning, or, or available on a certain date, or on or before a certain date. I can look for uh, condos, co-ops, uh, rental. This would be rentals here, so multifamily. Uh, listing source. Uh, listing source, make sure uh, you, you leave these filters alone. The RLS will be uh, Cobra However, there are going to be exclusive and Cobroke listings available through the real-time feed as well. So there's really one of the one of the challenges with Nestio is that there's really no way to just filter out Cobrokes and look at just open listings and just exclusives, uh, which is challenges we've had uh, before. Um, syndicated listings, we'll talk about that later, but we can do some syndication to here, notably to naked apartments. Uh, and then you have your other filters here. So uh, that's essentially just a really quick down and dirty on doing a search in Nestio. As I look at my search results, you'll see that it was when it was updated, uh, where the feed is coming from, this is coming from the management company. You could see that this is coming from real time. Uh, and then this is coming from the RLS. So you've got a couple of different places where listings can come from. Here is the property. Uh, that is the location, the price, the units, and then the photos, and then whether or not this is a listing that can syndicate. So um, we will talk about syndication in a future video. For now, I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, some of you who have not had Nestio Nestio now have it. Uh, you should have gotten a, a, a welcome to Nestio email. Uh, take a look. Uh, otherwise, um, you can play around with these search features. I hope this video helps you. Happy renting.